How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling happy this morning. It's Friday. Where is Friday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it's May. And it's the 15th. One and five together. You see one and five together? And there it is. Oops. And it's 2020. Tomorrow will be what day? What comes after Friday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. And it's still going to be May. And it's going to be what number comes after 15? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And yesterday was Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it was May. And what number comes before 15? 14. Today is Friday, May 15th, 2020. All right, the weather today. Look outside. What is it like at your house? At my house today, it's cloudy. And there is a chance of rain. But it's supposed to be a bit warmer today. It's supposed to be 14 degrees. Let's count to 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And 14 is right in the middle between cool and warm. So you can kind of decide whether you think 14 is cool or warm. I'm going to say cool still. All right, let's do some money math. Okay, how much is this coin? It's got a polar bear, two colors, called the toonie. It is $2. And this coin is gold, has a loon on it. It's called the loonie. It's $1. And this one, smallest coin, got a boat on it. Its name is the dime. It's 10 cents. Okay. So today, we're going to subtract. That's a tricky subtraction with some carrying over. So let's start with the first column. Zero minus zero minus zero. When it's zero and we're taking away zero, it's still zero. Zero minus zero is zero and zero minus one. Hmm. We can't do zero minus one though. So we need to borrow from over here. That's going to become a one. And I'm going to make this a 10. So now we do 10 minus 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9. And then I've got a decimal here. And this isn't a 2 anymore. Now it's a 1. So 1 
take away one is zero. And zero minus zero is zero. So today we have 90 cents if we subtract these three coins from each other. We would have 90 cents left. Let's try and add them. Whoops. So I'll write my $2 again, my $1, and my 10 cents. So instead of subtracting this time, I'm going to add. See what we would get if we would add them together. Okay, so I've got zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero plus one is one. Decimal, and now we have two plus one. So start at two, count one, it's three, and three plus zero is still three. So if we were to add it, we would have three dollars and ten cents. If we subtract these coins from each other, we would have 90 cents. All right, our social skill of the day. Oops. Staying on task. Staying on task means doing what you're supposed to do, like an activity, chore, or project without doing other things. If you do other things instead, you might run out of time to finish what you were supposed to do, get yourself in trouble, or get others in trouble. Doing other things is called being off task. For example, if you were supposed to be working on math, but you decided to talk to someone across the room, you would be off task. This example might get yourself and the other person in trouble too, because now they aren't doing what they are supposed to be either. Other examples of being off task would be working on something else or getting up to do other things. So staying on task is maybe not as important right now, but can be important if your parents have asked you to do something and you choose to do something else instead. So make sure you're listening to your parents and doing what they ask of you. Okay, question of the day. Today's question of the day is, do you like this four-wheeler, this truck, or this sports car? A vehicle one today. So, I like the four-wheeler, the truck, the sports car, because it's fast. You drive it on the road, or maybe you like it because you drive off-road, which would be this four-wheeler. It's your favorite car or vehicle. Uh, maybe you have one. Maybe you think it's cool or you like that it's expensive. You think they're fun or you like that it's loud. Or maybe you like um, it because it's big. Okay, so tell me why it is you chose either the four wheeler, the truck, or the sports car. Okay, you guys, that's it for this week. We're going to, I won't be back until Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. I hope you have a great long weekend and I will see, be back with you guys on Tuesday.